What is that? No. They do not look happy with it. Oh no. see and welcome to the interior of a car we are heading to a car meet this is cruise cruise takedown in high wickham we're at beaconsfield services we're lining up with a golf gonna get some vr6 or vr5 sounds induction Sounds pretty good i'm also wearing my lord timepiece and as never adam 10 gets you 10 percent off on lordtimepieces.com It. He's got a rev gauge on the back of his car. Adams Park, yes! My exercise for life. Oh, Active. he's broken down. Oh no, Something something's hanging off. hanging off his car. Something is falling Oh, he's, he's crashed into someone. Oh, there's some damage up there as well. Here we go, there they all are, taking pictures of the hot record. Yeah. Evo. Oh, pillar. Oh, the jazz is modded. Look at the jazz, jazzy jazz. For jazzled. <laughs> Quite the attendance already, it's the theme for 2020 meets. The whole force of High Wycombe is out tonight, and the Abarth is just with them. This one is unmarked. We've got the Thames Valley Police Corsa and a VXR8 sounding rather tasty. But cammed, it sounds cammed. 32 with a bit of heat issues. Wheels turned for the photo shoot. Here's the Jazzy Jazz next to an Evo. We've got purple details on the Golf, we've got some orange details on the Subaru and some pink details on this Subaru. Evo's looking clean. That wasn't quiet. Oh! No one likes this. Especially her. None of that, please. It's like a rule of like one rev and then you're done. Subaru is very blue. Blue brew, we're going to call it today. Chaser spotted in the distance. Blue brew is making sounds. 180SX with some weight reduction. Lovely R33. Exhaust delete. The cars are still arriving at the entrance. There is a yellow S14 behind the gates over there. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Subaru is making some sounds. Oh, more police activity. A lot of cars are going in there. They're being sent in there, I think. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. So according to the police officers, they're trying not to block this location up, so the organisers are putting us into this location as well. Skyline is rolling in. What is that? What is it? Is it a LOL? Is it a Chaser? Is it a Mark II? Is it a Cresta? Is it something else? I'm going to say it's a Toyota Mark II. And of course the yellow S14 looking lovely in the yellow sunlight. It's actually got some metallic flake in the paint job. And this guy's employed the incredible Hulk to close his bonnet for him. I have clocked a staircase. I'm going to get the content of the century. Bear with as I climb up. It's quite a few flights. I'm going to get out of breath by the time I get to the top. And this is as far as we can go. So this is the other car park. I could ruin this guy's day with Mechanico. So I just film the rest of the meet up here. I quite like it. Oh, blue MX-5 looks clean. So it's a nice, sh oh, he scrapes as he enters. Yes, I was going to say a lovely shade of blue with matching blue wheels and a black roof and ducktail on the back as well. Don't scrape, don't. Uh, that was close. I've clocked this maroon S2000 over here, roof down but windows up with a spoiler and lots of clean bits on it, including a silver boot, not carbon but just silver, and carbon side skirts, very clean wheels. Another S2000, this one in blue with some wide body arches on it. There's a bit of wrapping involved. It's got a cut out rear bumper with a little incision there and a central exhaust. It's time for a sticker showcase. It's a madness. Freedom order. These notes. Clocks the the RX-8 with the Brignol's back movement in place. The uh, bonnet is a little bit... how, how should we ex explain? Oh, the condition of the roof matches the condition of the bonnet, like it's actually on purpose. The spoiler has two end plates for good measure. Wide arches are present, wide tyres are present with the nails. The nails are located on the inside as well with the uh, air fresheners. Oh, air filter is right in the mouth. He's getting the angles over the speed bumps. What is it? It is a S14 with brave front wheel scrapage. There we go. The Zemke S14's fan is working overtime. The braveness of the wheels are blinding. Side pipes. Cheeky. That's quite the spectacle. The drift machine. Here we go. Uh, 
I've just clocked the wheels on this actually. They actually have hearts in them, as well as being bright pink. The lights are on, but it's not flashing for car meets neon light purposes. The moon is looking artistic above the Forester and the R34. Next to the R34, we've got this slammed Golf R. Ford Pop has lacking bonnet. The monster has extra long arms. This Clio is half asleep. Oh, hello! A turquoise Zenki S14 sat pretty nicely by the Biffa bins. That's one of my favourite sites as well. The S14s here are on point. There is a bungee holding the handbrake in place. Fart. Safi Cosworth as well as another Sierra over there. E36 Utes are becoming a popular site. So as you can probably tell we've been uh, chatting to some owners and having a good time so it's got dark and cars are starting to leave. We've got the Polo, the IS200 in blue is also departing. People are calling my name. The police are still in attendance but we're going to go to the exit and capture some of the sounds. Apparently police have been giving out section 59 to so anyone making any kind of noise here today. Um, so that's not been great. But uh, yeah, cars are departing and uh, lining up for an exit. I presume the police will be at the departure lounge to view the spectacle and what's involved. So I shall go to slightly low light mode. There we go, a little bit brighter. We've got the Subaru and the sleepy Clio in front of it all departing. Let's capture everyone leaving. the police are telling people off for crossing the road for effectively jaywalking which is an American thing we have to cross at the crossing or they will give you fines this guy is telling people not to do that and now the police are telling him not to tell people not to cross the road so I think they're going to close the entrance to the industrial estate so no more cars can come in as uh, everyone is leaving anyway that's got some red on it Another R33. Oh, Evo's making sounds. Oh, this has a flame kit. Will he use the flame kit? I really hope he does. Flames! Fantastic! Oh, yes. They do not look happy with that. External internal combustion is present. Oh, focus on the focus. There we go. Pop. Here comes the Ford Pop. Oh no, is he pulling the RX-8 or is he just off for some... Oh, bring Neil's back. Here he goes with Neil's on as well. See, purple is the apparently legal colour. Let's see if he... Uh... Oh, are they blocking off the entrance? They are, they are blocking off this side of the road. No, they're just pulling in for some more content capturing. Oh, they are blocking off the entrance that side, so no more people are allowed in. I don't know, are they blocking off that entrance as well? Oh, see they're telling people not to use the crossing because they are not using the zebra crossing about a metre up the road. Woo! R34 is departing. sending the cars that are coming up into the car park so they're actually aiding the meet from taking place maybe a purple supra so apparently a second location has been announced so i'm going to use the crossing to cross the road and uh, maybe attend crossing there we go there's still Use the crossing they're telling everyone to do, which I am doing like a good seed. The police were fine about this meet taking place to begin with. They were here pretty early. They got here about seven an hour before the meet started, but apparently they don't want it anymore because they've crossed the road, crossed the road, blocked the road from any more cars attending. We are rolling out. We've got the MX-5's afoot. Um, let's put the window down and film the content as it happens and it's departing. We've got the, the siren light combo of the century, blue versus amber, who will win? Please bikers turn up to control everything. And freedom, we have freedom. Diesel power. He's been mudded on. Oh, can't focus, because it's a Fiesta. Yeah, baby! 
<laughs> this is apparently the roundabout. There's two cars. We have two cars that have turned up. It's not it. Is well, it's not, is it? We are driving on the pavement. <laughs> MX5 is just doing MX5 things, there he goes. Noises from the SAT. So cars are entering, we actually managed to beat the majority of them here. They are parked slightly down there. Uh, it's a well-lit location, so we can hopefully capture all the cars arriving and parking on the pavements. This BMW is having difficulties. I can smell clutch, so I'd let you know that. Oh, bring, bring Neil's back! Wow! Wow, look at the glow! Wow. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Bring Neil's back! <laughs> Please home. A convoy is coming in. It is. Oh, of course, it's a Focus ST. You never see these. It's got an AirTech brand on it. turn up for the roundabout meets, they're all heading off again, so I don't know, we're just seeing the same cars in a different location. MX5 did a little skid. <laughs> So there is another location, so we're going to head there. We are now in traffic with an ST and an RS6. The lights are about to change. I doubt we'll get many sounds, but we'll see. CSX. has made an entrance already. Everyone is beginning to arrive. We are going up there for another area of sightseeing. A smart car. Disco, disco, disco. Oh yes, disco lights. So here we are in a industrial estate, away from any housing. Yeah. 
thing. There's three of them. That was pretty much that we've seen enough of tonight and then we're gonna head home because I've got an early start tomorrow so I hope you enjoyed that video that was cruise cruise event in High Wycom, Slough and Hayes three different locations follow me on Instagram for all the updates about these meets I go to but for now thanks for watching